Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we're gonna be firmware updating this Dell Ecologic PS400 Iscosi San NAS. When these were new they were made by Ecologic. Then Dell purchased them somewhere along the way and because of that the firmware has been kind of hard to get to. Uh, Dell has been sitting on those and if you did not have an active service agreement with them money 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 you were not able to get the latest firmware so it has been pretty hard to get that firmware but it has been manageable and I'm gonna be selling my Dell Ecolatic Sands here so I uh, I'm preparing the top one so uh, I have I want a firmware updated I want to delete the drives and I want to reset it to factory defaults. We're gonna see how far we get with that in this video. Deleting the drives might take longer than I really want to wait. So, uh, but we can um, firmware update it and we can reset it to factory default and then we can have a look at how long the drives want to have on deleting themselves. Um, there is a command for that. So uh, yeah, let's go to the computer and have a, oh, by the way, I did a video earlier and there was a warning on that one now the battery inside has charged enough so it's not complaining anymore so awesome so let's go see the computer okay at the computer it's only been a few hours since i did the last video but it has been enough so now the box is happy and i was gonna try and show that that's because we need to go in here there we can see everything is green and okay Awesome. So we want to put some new firmware on this. Uh, I think that's maintenance. Here we can see the firmware that is on it. There are two controllers out there. I showed that in the previous video. Um, each of these controllers has storage array firmware 5.1.1. That's not very new. So. I do believe that I have some firmware laying around that is quite a bit newer. So here is my folder about this Ecologic on my little NAS box and I have a folder full of firmware. Every time I've come across some firmware for this box I've been sure to save that. Um, so I see the 1.1 is that one. Everything above that is newer. Uh, so I don't know how far we can get with that. I might have to do a quick Google search to see what the newest firmware is that I can put on this box. I do believe that the version 7 does not go on there. So maybe I can put this 6.06 .06 on and that would be good. But Google search. Okay, I was not able to find anyone who has uh, put newer firmware on. I did find that this version 6.06 .06 is probably for the version 4100 or 4100 yeah that sounds better um but i found that i myself in a video has installed this version so let's um let's copy that copy and just have that on the local machine here let's put that on the ILO temp directory we had a the Java file is also located to make this work there and let's put that firmware on and that should be just update firmware and uh, I have to type in the password to be allowed uh, the default password for these boxes all of the Ecologic PS100 to 400 that is GRP at DMIN group admin but with GRP instead of group. So let's hit it and now I can pick where the file should be. File open upgrade transferring the file. That was quick. Oh, 1%. So this takes longer. Okay, that takes a long time. That was 2%. Uh, 
Uh, yeah. We'll be back when this is done. This is gonna take forever. Okay, we are at 3%. Maybe it's maybe it's speeding up. Let's hope that. But still. Okay, it has completed. Uh, active firmware status update to this one. And it wants us to restart. Um, I don't know how long this took. I was out saving the little uh, robot lawnmower menace in the garden. Um, let's just restart. You sure? I'm sure. That's probably gonna take a bit. So, um... Okay, it's been a while. Um, it has lost connection. I'm guessing that the box has restarted and um, it just doesn't automatically lock on. So we're gonna say yes. Please do reconnect. Oh, could not reconnect. Okay, so we'll close it and start it again. See um, if we have any luck with that. Unable to launch manager. Details. Okay, so now it wants a newer version of Yeva. Marvelous. So I'm running 1.5, it wants 1.6. Okay. I uh, wonder if this is also the case if we try and go in through the, the web interface here. Let's see what the web interface says. Yeah, it says the same thing. Oh, okay. We gotta go hunting for an old version of Yeva that will do this. So, yeah, it's, it sucks. I'm here at Oracle's homepage. And they have some of the old Java versions. I'm not going to be able to download it from here because they want me to log in and create an account and whatsoever. But I can kind of see what the file is supposed to be called. Uh, so we can pick that up. I want that one, I think. That's the latest uh, Java version 6. So if we borrow that this one and go to another page and google that I am sure someone will give it to us okay many old Java versions later you can see it's just running up here doing absolutely nothing and it will die um, but I, I tried something stupid I tried it on my machine here and it runs on the on new versions so that's awesome so let's see where we're at it seems we have new firmware on this so that is absolutely awesome firmware is updated cool so now we want to reset this to factory default yep there is some command line thinkies for that so uh, we can close this down this is our fail so let's go down here and let's get a CMD prompt and let's tilt it to the device there it uh, wants a login password same thing there and we are in help so there are different commands here that we can use um, I have never been in here before so uh, um, don't ask me. So I found this blog here, vblogger, which is actually another, it's a Danish vblogger who has done a little thing here on this Equilotic Sand. And it has, just look at the title, that's exactly what we want to do. So cool. And the first step is to wipe the disks and it will take three to four hours. I don't have time for that. I have to finish this video by almost now. I have to go back to Aarhus. I have to go to work tomorrow. So we can do one of two things. We can we can set it to factory default or we can start the wiping of the disks. But we can just see how both are done here. Apparently we log in as I just did to the array as a group admin. 
and then I have to do an SUEXSH to get into some tech command mode which is only for tech personnel which I'm not well I might be I'm uh, just not ecologic technical personnel um, then you just type disk zero and press enter and do you want to confirm and yes and then it will do everything that's really easy okay didn't that don't have to take long then when it has done that uh, you log in again here and type reset press enter uh, type delete all my data now press enter that's about it amazing if I do this reset to factory default I will have all the problems with the IP number and stuff I have to do all of that again so probably better to wipe the disks first and then do the uh, reset reset to factory default uh, so let's try that and I have all the stuff on it has been copied away so let's see what we can do here we have to give it that command and um, so we have logged in cool then we have to do the issue small letters to ex to sh there we are we are in some kind of command prompt mode and then we just have to say disk zero that's disk zero oh did I type that wrong Is it? yeah I did oh we can't do that not found uh, disk set e r o Please verify by entering a big Y. There. Oh, I found. Uh, the array will ask to confirm with Y or none. Okay, I have no idea why it's not um, doing that. Okay, so I have downloaded potty instead so let's um get our little help page up again here there i don't know maybe they are showing newer sands here i'm not sure if if it might just be that my sand uh, iscoshi sand is too old so let's try this um su ex oh it's h there and we're now running in this command mode, so disk wipe or disk zero. Oh, there. And please confirm why. And then it works. Okay, so Tilnet did not work. Now it's working. Awesome. And this will take three to four hours. Um, starting to zero this one, this zero all the way down. That's nice. Oh, and that's gonna take a bit. So okay, I was curious to see if the, anything would happen out here, and it does not. Um, doesn't blink any different. Sometimes one of the discs blinks ever so slightly, but it's it doesn't show up as doing much. So. I'm right now wiping all my data. This is um, it's it's fine for reselling a device like this. I'm sure I could probably also just delete all my data now, and no one would ever care to try and get my data out of there. And the data that might be there are still not secreted anyway. So, but well, you don't want your data in other people's hands, do you? So. Well, it's wiping and then in three to four to six, I have no idea how long this will take. I can then go and reset it to factory default and take it out of the rack. 
this is only the first I'm gonna be doing it to all three um, have to fix this power supply though with the bad fan uh, it might also be a bit dusty inside yeah we didn't complete all the tasks in this video it just took too long to get this up and running but thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again please remember to give this video a like and have a really nice day bye bye